Hello my friends and welcome to 30 Days of Yoga Camp. I'm Adrienne and today is day 13, lucky number 13. The mantra today is I deserve. Let's get started. All right, so today we're going to begin flat on our backs. As you make your way there, see if you can just tap into this inner smile, whatever that means to you. So it could be literally a little smile starts to creep uh, upon your face. Um, but sometimes the way we approach the practice, right? Just coming into it with a little inner smile. Take a deep breath in as you exhale. Enjoy this moment. This Settling in for some you time. Today's practice is easy breezy. It's day 13 and it's your lucky day. I'm gonna take it nice and easy and tend to the body in a kind and loving, gentle way. So a little gentle yoga today. Yay. Tuck the chin into the chest, lengthen through the back of the neck. So nice and long in the neck. And then go ahead and walk the heels out a little bit wider than wherever they are. So I'm taking mine about as wide as my yoga mat. And then I'm letting my toes just fall and relax. And then hands come to the belly. And we're gonna take a moment here to close the eyes. Just kind of take a second to close the eyelids and move from the kind of outer world or whatever your day has been thus far and begin the process of going inward. And if that sounds a little crazy or a little new agey to you, that's understandable. But ultimately, we're just taking this time to tend to ourselves, right? Be with one's self. Get to know yourself. So before we start moving today, we're just going to take a couple moments to relax the body, and of course, to connect with the breath. So see where you're at today. Is the breath shallow? Is it hard to breathe in deep? Do you wanna ease into it? Kinda of keep it soft and almost sensual as you begin to play with the breath. You know, just have a little fun here, right? Relax your shoulders. Notice if you're sleepy or tired or heavy. Notice if you're anxious, jittery, finding it hard to be still. Wherever you are today, begin to breathe a little deeper as you notice. What's going on? What's going on? Hmm, and I already feel like my energy change here, my mood shifts. Feels good just to give myself this time to stop and breathe. Here we go, gently rocking the head a little side to side. Keep it nice and slow. So again, resist the urge to just kind of go, okay, Adrian said, move your head, here I go. So if you can just keep it nice and slow at first, massaging through the back of the head, the neck stretches. And we keep the eyes closed here. And we continue to have a little convo with the breath. Maybe sending a couple good juicy inhales to the belly so that the hands rise a little bit. And then we bring the head back to center. I'm gonna slowly take my palms down and I'm gonna walk the heels up towards the hips. Knees up towards the sky, nice and slow today. Press into the palms, go ahead and scoop your tailbone up. And we connect to the midline even here. So close your eyes and see this line from the crown of the head all the way to the tip of the tail of the tail. 
Then everyone say tip of the tail five times fast. No, just kidding. So walk the heels up towards the hips and then just notice if, uh, what's going on in the feet. So if the knees are falling out or in, can you press evenly through the soles of your feet? So we're beginning to expand awareness throughout the whole body. This is a game changer, I think, for one's day. So see if you can really spread awareness through the fingers and the toes here. Taking it nice and slow today. Inhale, press into the palms, press into the feet, and slowly begin to lift the hips. Initiate this movement from your coccyx or your tail. And then let it travel up, up, up. Remember the neck is nice and long here. And then as the hips begin to lift and we begin to feel pressure, uh, excuse me, compression on the shoulder blades, it's better than pressure. <laughs> uh, so much pressure. <laughs> Allow the palms to open. So it's a kind of a blossoming and opening here as you inhale. And then exhale slowly lower down. And I find once you get the hang of this, I find that um, closing the eyes is really great here to keep it nice and slow. And in fact, even though we're moving in a slow fashion, it's it's best to keep the neck in alignment here. So it's best not to turn to look at the video during the bridges. I know I said that before, but just in case, um, wanna be super mindful, but I know you are pressing into the feet. We inhale, lift it up. And the palms open as I lift, lift, lift. Chest to chin, and then at the top, lift your chin just slightly towards the sky. Ah, it feels so great on the spine. Holy moly, slowly lowering back down. Palms return to the earth. And we'll do one more, nice and slow. Slow your roll. Press into all four corners of the feet. Sitting bones reach towards the backs of the knees. Chest to chin, and chin gently lifts to the sky. Should feel awesome in the neck, awesome in the back body. Big breath in, awesome, and exhale. Make your way back down with control. Oh yeah. Hmm. Let that, the sensations of that, let that inspire a new breath here, whatever that means to you. And then we're just gonna take it ear to ear again, nice and slow. So through this soft, slow movement, and even better if you can soften your gaze or close your eyes a little bit, we connect to the subtle body, right? The energetic body. It's way better than just wham, bam, slamming through your asana. It's juicier, it's lovelier, it's meaningful, it's, it's you, the way you move. It's, you know, that's what no yoga robots is for me. Okay, so that said, rather than just lifting the knees up to give ourselves a big hug, let's keep it nice and slow. And we're gonna slowly lift the, the toes here so we're pressing into the heels. And then just breathe, find those yogi toes. <laughs> so spreading the toes, really, really spreading, spreading, spreading. Gonna feel a big stretch here, especially if you're new to uh, the wake up call on the feet. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then nice and slow, begin to roll through the foot. And lift the heels, press into all 10 toes. So we're finding a little definition in the calf muscle here. You can feel it. We're trying to press into all 10 toes. So for me, I kind of just let my pinky toe do whatever the hell it wants. See if you can really anchor down through your pinky toe here. And then find your breath. Ooh, yeah. Hello, my honey. Hello, all the itty bitty muscles in my legs. And then slowly release the heels back down. Great. We're gonna take the hands and just reach them all the way up to the cactus arms here. So the backs of the palms come to the earth. And if you're a little bit tight in the shoulders and stuff, we're working on that. But if you're like, Oh, they don't make it. That's okay. You can either put your hands on two blocks or you can just bring them out to your sides here. 
So I'm from Texas, so instead of cactus arms, it's actually more appropriate. We say football goalpost arms, so if that suits your style more, come to football goalpost arms. Hopefully you're breathing here, not just hanging out. Breathe deep. I just saw a bird fly by. <sighs> nice. And I had a teacher once um, said to take a needle. It's kind of morbid, I, I, but I'm down. And just kind of puncture two little holes in the armpit chest here. And so we create just a little space to breathe here, like two gills. So whatever that means to you, can you breathe into the armpit chest here? This is gonna be helpful um, for the next couple days in practice. So just take a couple moments here to breathe into the armpit chest. If you want, you can walk your feet out to the outer edge and rest the knees together. Feel supported by the earth, supported by this project, the yoga camp, supported by the community supported by your breath. Great, then again, slowly lifting up through the toes. So if you brought the feet out here and want to bring them back in, we'll lift the heels and lift the toes, excuse me, press into the heels and lift the toes. This time play with the pelvis. So just noticing if the lower back is really lifted from the earth or if you can find a nice sweet spot there. Again, attention on this plumb line, this midline from the crown to the tail. And then when you're ready, rolling through the feet one more time, coming onto the toes, heels lift. You find a little definition in the calf here. Cow, cow, calf. And then this time we're gonna press off the toes for lift off. So here we go, we press off and we hug the knees into the chest. And then we take the arms and we wrap them around. Oh yeah. <clears throat> So we find a little massage in the lower back body. I'm gonna be here for a couple breaths so you can keep the eyes closed again. Hopefully you're finding a bit of relaxation or peace begin to wash, wash over the body. Find movement here that feels good. So we're, today's all about um, loosening up the places that are tight. You've been working really hard. So you might give yourself a little massage. You might draw circles with the knees. I'd like for you to explore some movement here. And this is where we'll drop the pin, uh, I deserve the affirmation or the mantra today. I deserve, this may be a tricky one. I, f I found it tricky. Um, so just close your eyes and as you, just take a second here to find what feels good in the shape. Say to yourself, I deserve. And then maybe you finish that sentence. I deserve this time for myself. I deserve to feel good about myself. I deserve the pizza party that I plan to have tonight. You know, whatever it is for you, it doesn't have to be so serious, but it needs to um, be true. So take a second here to find what it is for you today. I deserve. What do you deserve? What do you know in your heart that you deserve? To feel loved? To fulfill your dream, your goal? Mm. And hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug here and just make sure you have it. I deserve. And one more moment here. I'd like for you to repeat it to yourself. You got this. Stick with me. And then once you have said it to yourself, connected with your mantra, take a big breath in and a big breath out as you cross the right ankle over the left. 
Take the thumbs to the arches of the feet. Give yourself a little squeeze there, a little rub down. And remember this pose for when you're in bed later. I really need to stop with it. It's so sleazy. Just kidding, but just bringing a little humor. And also, uh, in all sincerity, this is a great pose to do in bed. A little foot massage before you go to sleep. A, li <laughs> a little um, squeeze of the knees to the chest. Nice conscious breath. All right, Adrian, stop it. Here we go. Rock and roll. Nice and slow today. Oh, you might find the body's heavy, so nice and slow. And we massage the spine. There's a fear that creeps in in this rock, like I'm not going to make it up or I'm going to blow a big fart. All I can say is that you're embracing a home practice, so just embrace whatever happens, right? It's the joy of the home practice. <laughs> And then we come all the way up to seated. Come into Sukhasana. We call it the easy pose. Not always easy, but the goal is to um, find ease in the posture. So take a little responsibility for your own happiness here and find a lift in the hips if you need. Find some looping in the shoulders if you need. And everyone I recommend some nice big circles with the nose. So close your eyes here when you get to the nose circles. Listen to any sound effects the body is making. Notice what's going on. If you find a catch, rock a little back and forth. And then when you feel satisfied, bring the head over the heart and the heart right over the pelvis. Then bring the hands to the tops of the thighs or the knees, whatever feels best, and lift up from your armpit chest. And once again, imagine breathing from the armpit chest, whatever that means to you. Again, maybe it's just sending an awareness there as you breathe deeply in and out. Use your breath to find that beautiful ascension in the spine. And then maybe you ground down through the shoulders and the elbows a little bit. I love to tack a little weight in my elbows down just to find that lift even more. Then this is new. Just take a second. I'm going to stop talking. Just take a second with the eyes closed here to notice what's going on um, around you. But again, eyes closed. So you might listen to the sounds in your room or in your environment, out the window, maybe people in the other room. Just take a second to expand your awareness and take in any sounds. It's quite quiet today here, actually. It's really nice. And as you return to your breath, perhaps you lost it there as you started to listen. It's hard to do all these things at once. Sometimes it feels like, you know, you're juggling too much. But tis life, so it's great to do that on our mat in a conscious way. Now I'd like you to just notice the quality of air in the room as you deepen your breath. What's it like? Is it stuffy? Is it fresh? What does it feel like? And again, back to the mantra. Repeat your mantra to yourself. I deserve. I deserve to be happy. Big breath in here. Big breath out to release the hands. Open your eyes, awesome. Here we go. Draw the left heel in towards your center and nice and easy being always so kind to your precious knees, your whole body. Take this right leg around and we come to what I call, probably annoyingly, cheerleader pose. Just 
just reminds me of that, like, yeah. Okay, so come into your cheerleader pose. If you always wanted to be a cheerleader, <laughs> now's your chance. Um, and just notice what's going on here. If you're feeling tight, tight, tightness in that hip already, use your fingertips to find stability. If you're like, dude, I got this, I should have been a cheerleader, then maybe you take a different uh, position in the hands, maybe palms at the heart or palms right at the base of the belly here, right next to your navel. And then everyone, whether your fingertips are on the earth or in a mudra, can you draw your navel in just a little bit? Your center engaged. Woo, feeling this in the left glute. That compression there, that opening here. Big breath in, find this beautiful, beautiful, big, big ascension in the spine. And then slowly, we're gonna turn to the left here, finding a gentle twist. Do not crank here, keep it soft and easy. Keep the armpit chest lifted here. Keep your foundation strong, even here. So we're not here. This sucks. So lots of lift, lift, lift. Big breath in, big breath out to release. Dial your center, your heart, turn the room with you. So we're really having fun today with the energetic body and take it just slight counter twist. Slight, gentle. Awesome, then back to center, bring your heart and navel. Uh, sometimes it's not what we do, but the way we do it, how we do it, right? So we're like, uh, uh, or can we kind of like enjoy the ride? Left palm to the earth, right fingertips reach up and over. Give yourself a little space here to really stretch. This should feel good. And then we inhale, reach with the right fingertips. And then exhale, slowly begin to straighten your right leg. And then we're gonna come all the way up and over into head to knee pose. What? Beautiful, nice and soft and easy. So this might be the first time you stretch out your legs today, right? So no need to wham, bam, slam it in. Give it nice, um, give it um, nice and easy breaths here. Ease into it. And then slowly grounding through the hips, we roll back up and we do a little switcheroo. So right heel comes in, mindfully, my precious, with the knees, super mindful, we send the left leg back. Come into our cheerleader pose, breathe. Mm. So take a second to find this grand lift in the heart, this lift in the armpit chest. So if the shoulders are rounding forward, like mine do naturally, no matter how much <laughs> yoga I do, it's just sometimes you have to accept your body. And so I counter that by making sure I draw my shoulder blades together. Maybe your hands are in a mudra here. Lift, 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 all the way up through the center channel. Inhale in. Exhale, gentle twist to the right. Notice if you start to collapse here. And instead, say your mantra to yourself. What do you deserve? And lift your heart. So the first thing to go, right, is the heart, right? When we're sad, when we're shocked. So this practice of... I deserve and lifting the heart. I think it's awesome. Here we go. Big breath in as you exhale, slowly release. Gentile twist, counter twist to the left. Mm. My neck, my back. Ooh. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, release back to center. Right hand slides down and out and inhale, sweep the left fingertips up and over. Still conscious of the foundation, always that which is touching the earth. Inhale in, extension through the crown, reaching with the left fingertips. 
And then exhale, nice and easy, nice and gentle. Extend the left leg out long and begin to shift left toes towards the sky. And we take it up and over. John Usar Sasan on the left side, head to knee pose, but just play here, stretch it out. Mm. Loosening up. And then slowly we'll roll it up. Bring the left leg in, come to cross for one breath. So left leg should be crossing over the right here. So for most of us, this is the weird cross, but balancing it out. Big breath in, big breath out. Drop the chin, take a look at your hands here. Give yourself a little hand massage if it feels right. And then take this awareness of the hands with you onto all fours. Find your alignment. And then we begin to move with the breath. Inhale, cat cow, dropping the belly. Think about that as ascension through the spine you just had. So really lifting and lengthening through the crown here as you drop the belly. And then curling through the tail. Crown of the head down. Inhale nice and slow today as if you were moving through water. And exhale. Uno más. One more here. Inhale, dropping the belly, crown of the head reaches. And exhale. Curling, rounding through the spine. Awesome. Inhale back to center. Nice and easy here. I'm just going to extend the right leg out long and stretch through the calf. You might saw a little front to back, front to back. And once again, try to press into that pinky toe. And then slowly bring it back in and left side, pressing away from your yoga mat. So the arms aren't just doing nothing since we're focusing on the left leg. Full body experience here. Press into the index uh, knuckle, index finger knuckle, strong. And then reel the left knee back in. Drop the elbows exactly where your palms are. So we have two parallel lines in the forearms here. Wrists are parallel. Spread the palms, press into the index finger knuckle again, and walk your knees back. Ah, beautiful, beautiful posture. Heart to earth pose. We surrender. We let the tail rock up towards the sky, and we're gonna take five deep breaths here. You can count them out. Maybe you say your mantra five times each time you inhale. Stay rooted through that index finger. Opening the heart. Opening the shoulders. And press into the tops of the feet. Connect to your center once again. Draw the navel in and slowly roll through. Come onto the belly, Sphinx pose here. If you want a little more heat today, instead of Sphinx pose, you can come to a forearm plank. Gaze straight down. So we have two options today. Forearm plank, five breaths, or Sphinx pose, five breaths. Maybe, maybe you're like me and you just do a little bit of both. Breathe. And after your five breaths, we'll slowly draw the palms underneath the shoulders, come back to all fours. 
and send it to downward dog. So you have one downward dog today. What are you gonna do with it? We are doing one downward dog. Can you wake up the feet? Wake up the legs, press into that index finger, press into all your fingerprints. Maybe if you're in a place in your practice, maybe this is a place where you start to kick up to do some uh, handstands. Maybe you start to just do a little extra core work, or maybe you're just enjoying your, your lucky <laughs> day off, relaxing day, and you just take your one down dog and enjoy it. Big breath in, big breath out. Awesome. Slowly come onto the toes, lower the knees. We'll swing the legs to one side and come back to seated. Awesome work. So we're gonna come <clears throat> to a reclined cobbler's pose here. So take your time getting there, bring the soles of the feet together, and then we'll relax into the shape. I'd like for you to take your hands around to the uh, outer edges of your legs here so that you can really open up through the armpit chest. So there's kind of an exaggerated lift in the heart of the chest here today, a little back bend even as you crawl the shoulder blades underneath and you can grip onto your legs here if it feels good, just a little hold. We open the feet like a book here and five to 10 breaths here. I mean, we're just gonna hang out here for, for the rest of our time together. So close your eyes, open your heart and challenge yourself again to repeat the mantra. So I know it's not easy, but that's why we're here to practice and just kind of Go a little deeper, unplug, uh, reveal another layer. I deserve. Deep in your breath. The pranayama practice, the breath practice will totally change your life. It's hard work. You have to train your mind and body to connect with the breath. But that's why we're here. So keep breathing. Just a couple more moments here. And take one more breath. Take the deepest breath you've taken all day, my friend. And then use the exhale to release the arms, open them wide and reach it all the way up as if you were doing like a snow angel or a sand angel. Go ahead and take them all the way out and then we're gonna slide the legs out so that our body is doing a little reclined star pose or like a big X. And then take the biggest breath in. And exhale, float the fingertips down at your sides. Shavasana. Close your eyes here. Relax your jaw. Give thanks for this moment. Notice how you feel. Just take a couple moments at least if you have more time, maybe you stay here longer, to allow the nutrients of your practice to settle in, to seep in. Maybe connect to your mantra one last time. I bid you farewell. We'll see you tomorrow. We're almost halfway there. You're doing awesome. It's such a privilege and an honor to be able to do this with you. Thank you for sharing your practice. Namaste.